After being in the works for many years, Lionsgate has set the long-awaited sequel release date for The Expendables. Even though some behind-the-scenes issues had put the next installment in jeopardy, now it's all on track and we can't wait to see the newest action with many new faces in it. Stay with us in the next couple of minutes as we're bringing you all the known details about the fourth role of The Expendables. First, let's see where the action stopped in 2014 when the third movie was released. We were close once. We started this whole Expendables thing together. But we had a falling out. They came back and they were more than ever. The Expendables 3 was arguably the best film in the franchise, but it still wasn't high art or even something that makes the best use of its stacked cast of action superstars. The core gang from the previous two films led by Sylvester Stallone's Barney Ross returned once again and they took a job to stop a mysterious arms trader for the CIA. But Barney hires a new younger crew after his usual group members botch a mission. He feels that his old band has given enough to Expendables and decides to retire them. He'll realize that Stonebanks, the guy he thought he killed before, has been a target of the failed mission, Stonebanks will shoot Caesar, and that will send Barney on the guilt trip that leads to his disbanding of the team. After Barney demanded his old crew enjoy the rest of their lives, he'll go on a suicide mission with his new team of youngsters. But all of them are skilled in action, and not just that, they're also good at computers and technology, things that Barney doesn't understand. But he'll be forced to call his old team members again because the new kids will be kidnapped by Stonebanks. The team rescues the young mercenaries and together with new and veteran expendables will work to kill Stonebanks. And you can pretty much figure out where the rest of this is headed. Welcome to the 21st century. I could do that. The movie grossed much less than the previous two, only $214 million, against a budget of $90 to $100 million. It only got a 64% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes and a 6.1 rating on IMDb. Unfortunately, it wasn't the best way to complete a trilogy. The Expendables 3 got nominations at the unpopular Golden Raspberry Awards in 2014 with Mel Gibson, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Kelsey Grammer all nominated for Worst Supporting Actors. Grammer even won the award. But outside of watching a bunch of people who were once at the top of their game, the real joy of watching these films comes from wondering just which famous actor will pop up next and what kind of role he'll play. We saw some incredible names including Harrison Ford, who was the best replacement for Bruce Willis, then Wesley Snipes who was a perfect asset with his hard action character and crazy comic moments. Ronda Rousey was beating up dudes and hit that like button below the video right now. No really, Kelsey Grammer was also there and he was the guy helping Barney get the team together again. This is it? This is your team? Short notice. Many of the fans were disappointed that Terry Crews had the shortest part in this movie, but the Expendables films are largely about team effort in the first place, and in a team like this, no one is greater than the goal. Over the trilogy, Stallone is leading a group of 80s movie and 90s movie stars through a rigmarole of calamitous missions. Together, they'll stop rogue CIA agents, other mercenaries, and even their former colleagues. The Expendables is an adventure movie series with so much action that is always leaving us hungry for more. And now the wait is over, and we know the release date for the fourth installment. Yes, Lionsgate recently has finally given The Expendables 4 an official premiere date, and they're coming back to hit the theaters on September 22, 2023. They'll face some stiff competition on this day because Warner Brothers has already scheduled an official premiere for an unnamed DC movie on the same day. According to Deadline, the fourth Expendables movie is one of the three film titles set by the studio for next year. Lionsgate is also planning the premieres for About My Father with Robert De Niro and some unnamed comedy movie for the summer. The filming for the fourth installment has been completed in December 2021. Tony Jaa announced the information last year, sharing an image of him and Echo Waste with the caption, That's a wrap for Expendables 4. You mind your business, I'll mind mine. The movie is directed by stunt performer who became a filmmaker, Scott Waugh. Like all the previous films, the script for this one is also written by Spencer Cohen and Jason Statham, who stars as the lead character, is serving also as a producer alongside four other guys. Now let's see who makes up the cast. Four actors will reprise their original roles from the last three installments as the leading quartet of mercenaries. This group includes Stallone, Statham, Lundgren, and Randy Couture. This quartet will be followed by many other famous faces like the rapper 50 Cent, Megan Fox as the female lead, the Thai martial arts legend Tony Ja and the star from Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins, Iko Uwes, who plays a villain in the new movie. Oh, and I almost forgot, Andy Garcia, another veteran, who will play a role as a CIA agent. Probably making a bomb.
We already know the roles of the first four, but the roles of other cast members are as yet undisclosed. We'll hopefully be getting some more information on the characters in the upcoming months. Fans can expect a bigger role from Jason Statham in the movie, and you should smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell right now. No, really, this information has already been revealed by Sylvester Stallone in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter. I heard it turned out pretty good. Jason Statham is 80% of it. He's happy with it, said the actor, whose contribution to the Expendables franchise is going to be final with this movie. So it seems that Stallone finally hands over the baton, and in the future, Statham will lead the excursions for the Battle Garden Gang. Before the movie was filmed, it had so many problems, proposed deadlines not being hit and key cast members leaving the project, even Stallone himself exited the film's production in 2017. There were some leaks that Stallone was suggesting bringing Jack Nicholson to play the main villain in the movie, and also that he planned to include Clint Eastwood. We don't know if these were actual goals or only ideas, but we do know that we heard so much news like these in the last eight years of waiting. The official description of The Expendables 4 is as follows. Armed with every weapon they can get their hands on and the skills to use them, The Expendables is the world's last line of defense and the team that gets called when all other options are off the table. But new team members with new styles and tactics are going to give new blood a whole new meaning. The brief synopsis doesn't give us many clues. We know that Ross and his mercenary gang will square up against an arms dealer who commands the might of a massive private army. So it's safe to say that the arms dealer will be portrayed by Eo Oase. There are no other details revealed at this point. We can expect Barney, Lee, Gunner, and Toll together with the help from some new members to set out for another dangerous and explosive mission as they always do. Lee's character will be in the spotlight now, and this could also mean that Ross will be either killed at the end of the mission or he'll only pass the baton to Lee and retire from the team. The Expendables' fourth film has so many opportunities for the characters, but we're sure of one thing, and that is the movie will bring another amazing and epic action story. The movie will also bring an emotional goodbye for Barney Ross as he reaches the end of this exciting journey. That's all for now, but there will be a new video when any new interesting details will be revealed in the near future. Until then, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.